اس کے بعد میں جناب امام بلال صاحب سے اگزارش کروں گا کہ آج کی محفل کے صدر بھی ہیں اور بڑے خوبصورت انداز میں ہماری ینگسٹر کے لیے مشیر رائے ہیں ان سے اگزارش کروں گا کہ اپنا بیان کریں امام بلال صاحب بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین صلاة و اتم و تسلیم علی اشراف انبیاء طب القلوب و دوائیہ و نور الابصار و ضیائیہ و عافیت عبدان و شفائیہ و علی آلہ و اصحابہ و من تبعاکم بی احسان الی یوم الدین کی محمد سے وفاتونے تو ہم تیرے ہیں کی محمد سے وفاتونے تو ہم تیرے ہیں یہ جہاں چیز ہے کیا لوہ و کلم تیرے ہیں اللہ رب العزت کی حمد و سنہ اور حضور نبی کریم روف رحمت للعالمین انحدیتاً درود و سلام کا نظرانہ پیش کرتے ہیں دعا ہے کہ اللہ تعالیٰ اس پر برکت محفل کو اپنی بارغاہ میں قبول اور منظور فرمائے اور اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی خالد مغل صاحب کے عال میں after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending peace and salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I thank the host of tonight's mehfil Janab Khalid Mughal sahib who so beautifully arranged the gathering of the dhikr of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and after praising the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I thank Dr. Shahzada Fazila Yaz Qasmi Wali Amora Sharif for attending the mehfil and our beloved brother Janab Muhammad Adil Iqbal who came all the way from Canada and recited so beautifully May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in his voice Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen The time is very short and I just have a few things to say When Janab Tariq Alvi Sahib was reciting the Naat a point came to my mind where the poet he says Ahmad Mustafa hui kufr rawana ho gaya Jiske huzur ho gaye uska zamana ho gaya the poet says that Ahmad Mustafa hui kufr rawana ho gaya that when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came that kufr was finished when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came all forms of shirk were done they were gone now let me tell you how that happened when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born it is written in Rahik al-Makhtoom which is a book of seerah written by a professor from Medina University and he says that when Rasul sallallahu alayhi salatu wa sallam was born there was a fire and this fire was in Persia and it was worshipped for a thousand years. Hazaro saal ke liye, Faris ke sar zameen pe ek aag thi. Or us aag ki log pooja karte thai. Us aag ki log ibadat karte thai. Lekin jaysay meri aur aap ke nabi, Janab Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi salatu wa sallam paida huye. Us wo aag khatam ho gai. Or zameen, sar zameen or dunya or wo aag dawat dena shuru ho gai. Ke aaj ke baad, اگر کسی کی عبادت کرنی ہے تو وہ صرف خدا کی عبادت کرنی ہے آج کے بعد کہ اگر کسی کی پیار بھی کرنی ہے تو صرف حضور پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی پیار بھی کرنی ہے there was a fire in the area of Persia and that fire for a thousand years people would worship that fire but as soon as the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم was born the scholars and the historians they say as soon as he was born that fire was no longer there that fire extinguished and the fire Fire and the earth gave the message that after today, if there is anyone who will be worshipped, it will be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After today, if there was anyone who will be followed, it is Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam. And we go a step ahead. In the area of Iraq, there was a water, there was a river, the river of Sahwa, which was also worshipped. And that river, as soon as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born, the river dried up. And this is the miracle of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last Nabi. This is his miracle that as soon as he was born, all forms of kufr were done. That the idols broke. The people they stopped worshiping the idols and they started worshiping Allah subhanahu wa taala and following the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is the miracle of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In Iraq, you can search it up. The river dried up because the Prophet ﷺ was born and the final miracle on the arrival, on the birth of the Prophet ﷺ, Sayyidah Amina radiallahu anha, she says that when the Prophet ﷺ, when I was pregnant with him, when he was in my, in, in, inside of me, when the Prophet ﷺ was about to be born, I had a dream. And the dream was that when the Prophet ﷺ was born, in all of the areas, that there was a light which came out of my home. And that light stretched all the way to Syria. And do you know what happened when the Prophet ﷺ was born? Even the kuffar became ghawa, they became witness. 
that as soon as the Prophet ﷺ was born, there was a light which shone from the house of Amina radiallahu anha. There is a light which came out from the house of Sayyidah Amina radiallahu anha, showing that the Prophet ﷺ is nothing less than a miracle. So when someone asks you, why do you love the Prophet ﷺ? How can we not love the one with whose birth brought about so many miracles? His whole life was a miracle. But how can we not love him when his mere birth just the birth of the Prophet ﷺ destroyed kufr. It destroyed everything. How can we not love him who when he was born, a river that was worshipped dried up. A fire which was being worshipped, it extinguished. And there was a light which came out of the house of Amin anha, Giving the miracle and the message that if there is any Nabi on this world, it is Rasul wasalam. It is the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, and after him, there will be no other Prophet. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Ana khatam al la nabiya ba'di." I am the seal of prophets, and after me, there will be no prophet who will come. I am the seal, and that that was a special gift bestowed by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to make His beloved Habib والسلام, the final prophet. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala saved the Prophet ﷺ. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, if He wanted, He could have sent the Prophet ﷺ first. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He wanted, He could have sent Him in the middle of time. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala waited. And after 124, approximately 1,000 prophets, they came and they went. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent His beloved Habib alayhi salatu wasalam to eradicate all forms of kufr, to eradicate all forms of disbelief, to eradicate all forms of shirk. And when people ask you, why do you celebrate the Mawlid? Why do you celebrate the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? It is our belief, it is our aqidah that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala was never born. That Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is la mahdud. And that's why Allah said, Laysa kamithlihi shaykh. There is nothing in comparison to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So when we celebrate the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are saying that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born, so he cannot be, the, be our Lord. He cannot be Allah, because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is not born. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is la mahdud. He is, he, he, we cannot even encompass in our minds who Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is. So the, uh, the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam eradicated all forms of kufr, all forms of disbelief. And then the Shahid, he says in the next one, جِسْكَ حُزُورُ هُوْ گَيَ اُسْكَ زَمَانَ هُوْ گَيَا And Alama Iqbal Rahmahullah, how beautifully does he translate this line of poetry. And you know a lot of people, they also do itirazat on not, on nasheed, on poetry. If the scholars who wrote poetry, they wrote it while keeping in mind the Qur'an and the Sunnah while keeping in mind verses of Qur'an and the hadith of the Prophet Wasallam, What does it mean? What does it mean that جِسْكِ حُزُورُ هُوْ گَيَيْ اُسْكَ زَمَانَ هُوْ گَيَا Allah Iqbal Rahimahullah, he said, What did he say? Ki Muhammad se wa fatune to hum te rehe If you love the Prophet Wasallam, Allah will be yours. Allah will be yours. Ye jahaan cheez hai kya? What is this? What is this world for Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? It is nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the master of all of the universes. He's Rabbul Alameen. Not just this world, not just the Milky Way galaxy, not just the earth, but all of the worlds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord and the master of them all. What is this world for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is nothing. It is a mere drop in the ocean of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is nothing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is this world? What is this world? It is nothing. And Allah Iqbal rahimahullah says, if you love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ki Muhammad se wa fatunay to hum te rehe, ye jahan cheez hai kya? What is this world? Loho kalam te rehe. If you love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah will give you the pen. Allah will say, now write your own, your, your, your own life. Now write your own muqaddar. Now write what, whatever it is that you need to write. Ye jahan cheez hai kya? Loho kalam te rehe. If you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you love the Prophet of Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then Allah will give you to the pen to write your own destiny. Allah will say, here you go, you love my Prophet ﷺ and I will give you. Now ask for me and I will give you. All you had to do was love the Prophet ﷺ. And that's why Allah said in the Quran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهَ That O Muhammad ﷺ, tell all of them that if they love Allah to follow you, فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهَ and what will happen? You will attain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And not only the love of Allah, وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ All of your entire previous sins will be forgiven. That is the only thing, the only thing that can get us this forgiveness of our sins is the love of the Prophet If you want your sins forgiven, 
love the Prophet ﷺ. Do his dhikr, remember him, send salawat on him, and that is the key to attaining the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the love of the entire world. Look at the people who loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the people who love the Prophet ﷺ, the great awliya, Khwaja Qasim Murfi rahimahullah ta'ala, who is the bani of Mura Sharif, look at him. He was a lover of the Prophet of Islam. And that's why till today we still remember his name. And that's why till today we still remember the sada of Allah who that he left on that plane of Mura Sharif. Look at, look at uh, Data Sahab rahimahullah. Data Sahab rahimahullah in Kashf al Mahjub, he writes that in order for a person's namaz to become perfect, what do they have to do? Before namaz, what do you do? You do wuzu. Yeah, but in order for your iman to become perfect, you need the love of the Prophet this, These are the lovers of the Prophet who they love the Prophet, they wrote about the Rasul and now till today, thousands and hundreds of years later, we still remember them because they were the lovers of the Prophet So if you want a legacy to leave behind, if you want something that people will remember you by, that is the love of the Prophet So in the love of the Prophet wasallam, there's a qasida written by Imam Busiri rahimahullah. And it is this qasida which Imam Busiri rahimahullah, when he recited this qasida, he was cured. He was cured from, from, from the, the sickness that he had. And it is this qasida that brings about barakah in life. So inshallah we will recite this qasida together. And I hope that everyone will recite with us because this is the, the gathering of the Sufi. The gathering of the, of the ones who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the gathering cannot be complete until we praise the Prophet of Islam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I get, in, inshallah, I request that everyone recites with me.